When I started working on cars, I was 16 years old, and uh, there just really wasn't a whole lot of technology out there. We had paper manuals. Um, of course, the internet wasn't around, things like that. Um, the best thing that you had going for you was probably the person working next to you and the folks that you worked with. And you may not look at that as technology, but that was, that was collaboration in its early stages. You know, we had, uh, we had opportunities to go further with further education through the different auto manufacturers and things like that. But, you know, outside of the basic hand tools and things like that, you just, your, your uh, team was your, your best bet. Technology has just, has just grown leaps and bounds a lot. And you have, we had to do that. This had to happen to keep up with what was happening to the vehicle. You know, the manufacturer can communicate with the vehicle while it's driving down the road. You have uh, navigation. You have uh, uh, these uh, safety systems on the vehicle that can detect lane change. If your head nods, it can, it can jolt you or beep and wake you back up, you know, pick your head back up to get your eyes focused where they belong, all these kind of things. Um, and when you're working on the car and you're working on these systems, you have to be able to communicate with these systems. So you have equipment, test equipment, diagnostic scanners. Uh, most everybody's gone to some form of a uh, wireless laptop now that you know you can communicate when you're working on the car. You're 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 dealing with that car uh, via the internet and via satellite. In terms of computer-aided design, certainly the advancements of uh, software, Autodesk and AutoCAD products, will change how things are created you can make drawings. Everything that is manufactured has to have a drawing. And now those drawings, they're not done by hand. They are all done on the computer and you can make changes and revisions to those very quickly. We use that technology to apply to real world systems. Uh, two of the things that we have incorporated are 3D printing, where my students have done work with humanoid robotics, uh, and unmanned aircraft systems. But there are other skills that do not have an expiration date that will pay you dividends throughout your career. A lot of them are soft skills, things like communication and teamwork and problem solving and critical thinking. I think in the longer term, the big issue that's going to address all fields is sustainability. The healthcare field is changing by leaps and bounds. Um, it's moving faster than I can keep up with it as a nurse. Uh, I've been out of the ICU for um, 13 years or 15 years, and I would certainly have to take a big refresher course to go back in. Um, the use of technology is incredible now, but we teach them soft skills, if you will. Um, communication skills in healthcare, which is so vital to being a healthcare professional, um, how to interview, um, employability skills, things that are important like being in t on time, um, being responsible. Uh, now, I focus on um, helping students to document and to write well, to write academically and professionally. That's all very important um, in presenting yourself as a professional. We are teaching. Um, more from case studies or backward teaching, if you will. Um, when I first started, we started with the teaching anatomy and physiology and the systems, you know, starting from point A to point B. Now we teach by a case study. Um, it's one case study. The boy was walking to school one day and texting, and he was hit by a car. And everything that st students learn throughout the year is based on that case study. Uh, we start out by learning the different types of healthcare careers that this young man named Jake would um, experience as he entered into the hospital. Anywhere from the EMT who saw him at the first moment he was hit to the point where he sees a phlebotomist to draw his blood and all sorts of um, diagnostic team members to a surgeon, etc. There's a lot of movement, a lot of activity. Students in one corner might be working on one project. Students in another corner might be on it on the computer. Um, it's it's there's there's a lot of moving around, a lot of kinetic activity.
When I first started teaching, we basically were very teacher focused in our instruction. So we lectured, students took notes. In the last, since I started began, began teaching biomedical science, a huge shift in that teaching paradigm and now it's very, the curriculum and the teaching methods are very student focused. So I have gone from being a lecturer to being a facilitator. So the, the curriculum is built around students. It's, it's project based, problem based, very real world and the students are very engaged, involved, very hands on, a lot of labs and um, we're constantly using the internet so the technology has uh, certainly increased and expanded so we're using it more often and we're using many more methods of technology. Our program mirrors real world. That's one thing we really emphasize here is the teamwork, the collaboration because both in the medical field and the scientific field you're working with teams of people. Think of the, the um, TV show House. You know, they did everything with a team. And it's the same way in the lab, for the most part. You're working with teams. You can't accomplish what you need to accomplish by yourself. When I first started in dental school, the technologies uh, compared to what we have today were very, very primitive, to be honest with you. And I'm sure the generation of dentists that came before me thought that we were doing really advanced things. Uh, things have changed quite a bit, as you may know, exponentially over the past decade or two. We do um, electronic x-rays, uh, you know, we don't have a regular x-ray machine, uh, well we do have the regular x-ray machines, that, but the films are no longer present. Uh, we don't have a processing unit for the, for the x-rays. Um, we do crowns in-house in one visit, so we have a CAD CAM um, system, a computer-assisted design, a computer-assisted machine, milling machine that basically we do the crowns from beginning to end in about two hours uh, right here in, in the office. The exciting things that are happening in dentistry uh, is the uh, integration of uh, the system that I have with uh, uh, CAT scans, the, uh, the, the x-ray machines, and what's happening today is that we're, let's say someone is missing a tooth and they're interested in replacing it with a dental implant, so we're basically working backwards, so instead of putting an implant in the jawbone and then going back and restoring that implant and hope for the best location, we're going backwards, we're using the CAT cam systems to decide where the crown is going to go and work backwards to determine where the implant needs to go in the jawbone. Uh, so that's really exciting what's going on here. So that's a game changer.